Hello and welcome back to Daily Direction Part 3 where we're going to be looking at this really nice search bar animation. So moving into Webflow, what we're going to do is we're going to drop a div in. We're going to call this search parent. We're going to give it a width of about 170 pixels. We're going to give it a height of 45 pixels. We're going to set it to flex, center, center. We're also going to set the overflow to hidden. We're going to put this on relative as well as we're going to change the background color and also put some border radius on it. Now we have that, we can basically drop in our search field. So drop in our search field and then we're just going to have to do a little bit of tweaking with this. So what we need to do is just have a look. We want to get our search input. So we'll just call this S input. We're going to float it to the right. And then we're going to set a width on it of like 120 pixels, maybe a bit smaller. Let's go. Right. Okay. So we need to bring that down. We can, we have to do a bit of back and forth tweaking here to get this right. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to set the background to black. We're going to give it a border as well. And we are also going just to push it down a touch, but I think I might do this on relative. Let's see if that makes a difference. 10 pixels. Yep. Yeah, let's put it on relative and then move it down like that. And what we also want to do is also put a border radius on it as well. So that's now in there. We can cl click the button and we'll just call this S B and T. And what we're going to do with this is we're going to select a background color of transparent. We're also going to do the same for the text. We're going to set a size of this to 30 pixels. Let's just have a little look. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to set this to absolute. I'm just going to move this to zero pixels. I'm going to bump it along a little bit. And I'm also going to drop it down a touch as well. Now we've got that in position, we're just going to have to do a little bit of tweaking just to see if we can get this right. So we're going to go and choose an image. And we're just going to bring the size down, make sure it's in the center, no repeat. Bring the size right down so we have it in a good position. Now we can start to tweak where that is aligned. Make sure it's 100% bang in the middle. Looking at the input, now we can see that we could add a little bit of width onto this so we need to just have a look at this and then what we can do now is just move it along with that and let's just bring that to got the button and then you could probably just go a bit bigger as well so let's just move that along touch more might even make that button a little bit bigger as well and now we have our two fields what we're also going to do is select the input and just change this to regular and also put a color of white and that will be the text that actually shows. If we go here, now there's two things that happen natively when you drop in this search. And it's these, well, they're really annoying actually and they don't look great. So let's um, use a bit of CSS to basically get rid of these. So I've already prepared that in my home document which I'm going to grab this CSS, go back to the button page, the search button, and then we're going to drop this in the head of the document. And all this is doing is just basically um, doing some overrides on the kind of um, main Webflow CSS that is, is kind of already putting this um, these borders onto these buttons. So you have to change these accordingly to fit your styling. Um, you know, these back border colors here and stuff like that. So you need to change them to get them right and save that and now once we publish this if we check they have now gone which is great so now we have a nice clean search bar what we're going to do is we're going to go back we're going to select our search parent we're going to do a mouse hover we're going to start and then we're going to do 03 
search hover. We're going to do a size. We're going to set it to the initial. We know the height was 45. I believe it was 170 pixels. Let's just quickly check. Yep, great. Let's go back in. So 170. And what we want to do now is actually just bring this down. So we're going to bring it down to 45. So it's just making sure. Now we've got some areas here where we can see that this this search bu button actually isn't in the center. Or oh, actually, let's go to 45. That might might help. Yeah, we can still see that it's still not bang on in the center here. So what we're going to have to do is let's just go back out of this interaction to make a few little tweaks on this. And this is why I said this one is a little bit back and forward because you need to just kind of make sure you're getting it right. Um, there's a bit of movement. So I think if we come over, let's just come over like four couple of pixels. I come over about two, two pixels or so. Go back and select and, and then go into this. Just check. I think we didn't have to come over. I think just go one more. And this is kind of the attention to detail that you really need to pay on these things to really get them to look great. And get to the search parent, hover, select. Now we're in the middle. That's looking great. And we're going to do the size and the width is going to be 170 pixels. The height is going to be 45. Um, then we're going to select our input and we're going to do an opacity. And then we're going to do an opacity here. Just going to pause it 0.2, which is great. And then we're going to set our animation types. Now on this, we're going to do a out elastic I'm going to put this on one second and then on the opacity we're just going to put it on an ease 0.5 and let's just check you get that really nice springy effect we might even just slow this down even more so it doesn't bounce there you go it's great let's I'm just put that back to two actually yeah it's good to me Let's just check it in here. Yeah, that's good. It looked like it was wobbling there. And again, that's why I always say go back to just check it how it is here. Which is good. Then what we're going to do is do the out interaction, which is pretty simple now. So let's just do out. Select. We're going to duplicate this. Oh, I hate when it does that. That's great. I'm just going to... <laughs> oh, I can barely see it. Let's just hope that I can duplicate. Right, there you go. Um, and we're just going to go this out. And then we can just get rid of these. Delete. And then the first thing that's going to happen is the opacity. So... What we need to do is just take these off the initial state. The opacity is first, and then it is the size. And let's just check. So the size can be on an ease. We're just going to speed this right up on the out parts. It doesn't need to be as long. And let's just see. There you go. And we've done it. And that is how you create this really nice search button. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to like and hit that subscribe button. And I'll look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.